guys, today we're going to take a look at this wagon style frame. We get a lot of questions in regards to what's the difference between, you know, this wagon style setup and a tandem setup. What's the, the pros and cons of each. So we're going to go over some of those things today and hopefully you can get an idea of what best suits you and how we can set your camp up. It's quite obvious as you look at the two different frames, the difference between them. Um, you'll see that this one has, you know, the, the axle set up on both ends. Now what this does, and a lot of the reason that customers will go this route, like this camp will mainly see rough dirt roads. Very seldom will it see pavement. And so these particular camps handle extremely well off-road. Um, they they track right behind the vehicle. They're really good in tight, tight turns and, and really tight trails. Um, but like I say, on the pavement, they don't fare so well. Um, they don't tow particularly well just for the fact that you don't have any tongue weight. And so there's nothing keeping tension on that camp. So as you pull, as long as you're pulling uphill, they pull great. It's, it's when you start to, you know, make a, a downhill pull that the camp tends to want to push. And so then you start getting some whipping action. And so really, depending on how you're using them, you know, is going to determine how your axles are set up. Now, like I say, this one's going to be used off-road a lot. And another thing that they like about these is if by chance they get stuck... They can actually unhook the tow vehicle and pull it up onto dry ground to where they can get better traction. And then they can hook a chain or a strap up and pull the camp through the, the nasty section in the road. Um, whereas with your tandem, you're not going to be able to do that because your tongue will be dragging. Um, but this is, so we offer two different styles in this wagon setup. We do a fifth wheel plate which means that this whole axle will spin as you turn. Um, very popular option, and they tend, I would say that they, they pull a little bit better than this style. Um, but the nice thing about this style is if I'm hooking up to the truck and I'm in some rough ground or whatever, I don't have to turn the whole axle. As you can see, just the tires turn. Um, it's set up just like your truck would be with the front end. So there's a lot of moving parts in here that have to be maintained. But it's definitely a lot easier to work with than the fifth wheel turntable. But as you can see, really heavy duty. Um, big metal plates on top of the wheel. So if you do have a, a blowout or anything... You don't have to worry about it tearing the bottom of your camp out. This would be your spare tire lowering jack. Seven leaf springs. And then all of our camps are set up with the receiver hitch. So you can pull doubles, all DOT lights. But overall, I mean, the majority of the camps that we sell are a tandem style frame. Um, just because a lot of our, our customers travel, this is going to a local customer, like I say, that will be up in the mountains and on the desert the majority of its life. Very seldom will it see pavement, and so it makes sense for them to go with this wagon style frame. If you're planning on traveling a lot on the highway, you know what, the, it's hard to beat the tandem. And really, depending on the size of the camp, it's not like you lack a lot of clearance um, just because all of our camps all sit pretty high. I mean, we do do undersprung or oversprung um, to help accommodate whatever it is you're doing. But overall, they're going to sit higher than any of the trailers on the market. But hopefully that answers some of your questions in regards to the wagon style and the tandem style frame. Um, like I say, it really just comes down to how you're using it. But in the end, we just want you to be happy with it.